What up, YouTube? Cool story, bro. Back here with Nary to Showdown Battle number 103. This is versus my homegirl, Emma Bay. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading so consistently lately. I'll probably get into the why I haven't been doing that later. But right now, let's focus on this game. This is battles actually a couple weeks ago in the UU room on Showdown. We actually had an Aorus OU tournament. Aorus OU, you know, we got all the new Mega Evolutions in there. Mega Salamence is broken as all get out. And this battle is actually for the finals of that tournament. This is the team I was using. This is the team she was using. The team she has is popularized by the famous YouTuber Pokeaim. It's built around the broken as all get out Mega Salamence. You know, Scarf Magnezone, Life Orb Greninja, also pretty broken. Sash Mamoswine. Life Orb, Defog, Latios, and Ferrothorn. My team was built around Mega Pidgeot because I, I built this as a counter team to Joey's team just because I wanted to try to ladder with something and I couldn't think of nothing creative, so I made a counter team. And I actually had Mega Pidgeot here, but I changed it to Mega Aerodactyl because I felt like he was like really anti-meta and that you know he could check a lot of Mega Evolutions by himself. And I used Home Claws with Stone Edge, Fire Fang, Aqua Till. I tried to reinvent Bird Spam with the Choice Bandits, the Raptor, Fizzly Defensive Rotom Wash, Especially defensive Rotom Heat. Manafi with leftovers. It's kind of good as like an offensive check to Greninja. And it's also like a usable sweeper. And Scarf Excadrill, who also doubles as my spinner and revenge killer. So that's all you need to know. Let's try to get into this battle and see who the real MVP is. So she leads off with Sash Mamma Swine, obviously. I lead off with Staraptor, go straight for the U turn off turn one. And I send in Rotom Wash, knowing she's going to set up her stealth rocks. It's fine with me. She uses knockoff, which actually surprises me. I thought she was going to switch out. I forgot Mamo Swine had knockoff. I tried to Volt Switch. I figure if she stays in again, then she'll be punished. But if she switches out, then something else will be punished. So I go for Will O Wisp just to make sure. I swap out and I go to Heat Ram because it counters this Latios. And I know it's Life Orb Default. And this Latios is going to get kind of worn down between the burn and the Life Orb damage. I'm going to be able to predict the Greninja switch here. It's very obvious. I go for Toxic. Unfortunately, I missed, but you know what? I'm going to keep Heat Ran healthy because I still need it. So I switch out, go to Manafi. It's able to take the Hydro Pump from Greninja. Even would have taken Dark Pulse if she predicted with it. So I managed to take that move. Manafi gets in here. And this is literally all I needed for. As long as I don't flinch, I don't flinch. I go for the Skull. Get lucky enough to get a burn on Greninja. And I'm able to just ensure that it dies now after Life Orb and Burn Recoil. So... Pretty much, Manafi did his job. That's all I needed it for, believe it or not. I just needed that damage on it. I sent a Staraptor again. She sends in Mamoswine. I know, I did a Calc, and Mamoswine was not able to kill Staraptor with Ice Shore since it's not Life Orb. So I'll just go for the Double Edge just to ensure I kill this thing. And I sent in Heat Ran again because it's like the best answer to anything else she could have sent in. She sends in Magnezone here, and a Scarf Magnezone, so it's not going to be able to really kill my Heat Ran here. I go for Lava Plume. I get the Burn Off here take another thunderbolt and i'm just able to survive it with one percent so this gives me enough space to set up stealth rock here heat ran has now officially done its job she sends in salamence and heat ran is pretty much death fodder now it did its job but in the event that she tried to set up as she did here with substitute i decided i'm going to use roar here just to phase her out just so that you know heat ran doesn't get set up on but it's still death fodder so i'm gonna let this thing die to latios here and now aerodactyl is going to be able to clean up very easily so here we go, the MVP of this match, Aerodactyl, he's going to go in. I Mega Evolve here and miss the Aqua Tail. Nice and clean. And take this critical Draco Meteor to the face. Now, the reason I went for Aqua Tail, one, I don't have Aerial Lace. Two, I didn't want to risk missing with Stone Edge. And three, I knew Aqua Tail was going to kill from that range. And nine times out of ten, it would have actually hit. It has 90% accuracy. But what can you do? So I send in my Rotom Wash. She sends in her Fairy Thorn. I go for will o -Wisp, but she goes for Leech Seed. And she's going to protect here. And I, to stall me out and get more recovery so I can die faster, of course. I'm trying to use Pain Split here, trying to you know, take my HP back. I knew the switch to Salamence was coming. It was painfully obvious, but <laughs> I went for it anyway. So it didn't really help me much. She sets up a substitute here. I Volt Switch knowing that she was going to use a setup move of some sort. And I go to Excadrill. I decided to preserve Rotom because, you know, I think it would have had a better chance against the Ferrothorn than, um, than Excadrill would have. Excadrill can't break through it, so I, I break the thing sub with Iron Head, kill it again with Iron Head, taking the area late. Frustration from Salamence Mega. And Ferrothorn uses Leech Seed on me. I'm gonna sit here and fodder this thing just spamming Iron Head. The real reason why I didn't want to switch out is one, because I didn't want to like end up taking this indirect damage, and two, I didn't want to risk switching on a potential power whip. I wasn't sure if the Ferrothorn had power whip or not, but 
you know, this is where it comes down to the wire now. I use Pain Split, heal myself back up, and she uses Leech Seed. She apparently does not have Power Whip, which is kind of good for me, so that I have a chance here. I have a chance. She uses Protect as I go for Hydro Pump, and I'm at 1% here. She tries to go for a Double Protect to shut it out, but it fails, so I get this another, this second Hydro Pump off, but it's just not enough. I die from the Leech Seed damage, she dies from the Burn damage. However, she still wins the battle because her Pokemon went down last. My Rotom Wash went down first, so I lost. So that is good game, Emma Bay. Very good game. That ran straight down to the wire. I actually did a calculation after this battle, and um, Hydro Pump actually doing 17% to that Ferrothorn. She was actually max HP and defense with like four special defense impish. The fact that Hydro Pump even did 17% was a high roll. Like, if I got a maximum roll, it would have been just enough to take out the Ferrothorn, but the majority of the times in that scenario, I still would have lost. Now, you might be wondering also why I didn't just send an Escadrill on Latios instead of going straight for, um, instead of going straight for Aerodactyl. Well, the whole reason was because I didn't want to play the wrong move and end up getting punished for it. You know, if I kill Latios with Iron Head, she could have switched, like, if I went for Iron Head, she could have switched out on the Ferrothorn, and that would have cost me momentum. Or if I went for Earthquake, you know, because it has Mold Breaker, so it could have still hit Latios, even despite its Levitate. She could have sent in Salamence, and I could have gotten set up on. I would have lost momentum. Like, even if I killed it, whatever move I killed it with, I would have lost momentum with whatever she sent in afterwards. I wanted to preserve that momentum, which is why I sent in Aerodactyl. You know, just to clarify that for y'all. But, anyway, that was a very close game. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and favorite. Once again, good game, Emma Bay. And, um... That's all I gotta say, pray I get more consistent with these uploads. Thank you for watching and peace.